Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today I'll be rating all of the 556x45 guns in Stalker Gamma on the tier list from S to F tier. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. I stream live on Twitch every day, so come stop past. 556x45 is primarily a Stalker killing caliber. It comes in three forms FMJ, AP, and HP. First of all, don't waste your time with the HP. The damage is too low. The FMJ is good against most Stalkers, and the AP being expensive, but even more effective. An issue with 556 is availability. Being a NATO round, this round is only available on a few traders, and even then, it's only available at level 3. It is much better to just craft it using gunsmithing tools. Starting off with the ADAR, this gun is okay overall. It has great scopes, a 30 round magazine, but the main downside is the gun being semi-automatic. And I know people say that guns don't need to be fully automatic, but with a small caliber like 556, it really does help. The main redeeming factor about this gun is it being a historic repair kit, allowing it to be repaired early. Therefore, this gun will go into B tier. Slightly worse is the AK-101. There really is nothing great about this gun. It has bad scopes, bad accuracy, and gets no underbarrel. I guess at least the gun has a 30 round magazine at okay fire rate, so this gun will go into C tier. A fan favourite is the AK-105 Swamp Thing, and for a good reason. This gun gets a larger 45 round magazine, and a variable spectre with a 45 degree sight. On top of that, it has a fast fire rate and is controllable. The only downside is the relatively low accuracy, but it can be upgraded. The Swamp Thing will go into S tier. Another fan favourite is the AK-5C. This gun, however, is slightly worse. It gets a smaller 30 round magazine and a slightly slower fire rate, but still does have great scopes and accuracy. It does have an upgrade kit which adds a scope and a red dot combo, but in the current version of Gamma, it is super laggy and unusable. Even if it wasn't, it still isn't much better and will go with the regular 5C and A tier. The Org A1 is okay on paper. The stats are okay, but the main issue with the gun is the scope. It is forced to use a 1.5 times scope, which sucks. Therefore this gun will go into C tier. Slightly better is the Orge 3 Commando. This gun is similar to the previous but has a better accuracy and fire rate. And instead of a 1.5 times, this gun gets a fixed ACOG and laser, which is better but still not great. So this gun will be upgraded to B tier. Upgrading even further is the Fails EF88. Once again, this gun is like the previous, except the fire rate is slightly slower. However, it gets a massive improvement as it can take great scopes. So this gun is further upgraded to A tier. Level hate the look of the F2000, you cannot deny its effectiveness. It can take great scopes, has a high fire rate, good accuracy, and even a grenade launcher. This gun is amazing and will go into S tier. Staying on the topic of good guns is the G36K. This gun is slightly worse than the F2000, but it's still great. It gets all the good attachments such as scopes and grenade launchers, but a slightly slower fire rate. But the area where this gun excels is it only being an army rifle repair kit, where the F2000 is advanced. So this gun will also go into S tier. The G36 is the G36K but worse. It no longer gets a grenade launcher and is forced to use the fixed scope, which sucks. So this gun will be downgraded to B tier. Now on to probably one of the best 556 guns in the game, that being the Hauer Type 20. This gun is one of the only rifles which comes with an amazing scope pre-attached. But that isn't even the best part. This gun has a very fast fire rate and is extremely controllable. This allows you to maintain automatic fire on stalkers at long ranges. This gun is an obvious S tier. Continuing the trend of S tier guns is the L85. Why? Because it's British. But realistically, this gun is just okay. It has good accuracy and great scopes, but suffers from having no grenade launcher and a painfully long reload. Therefore, this gun will go into B tier. Speaking of the British, did you know that 100% of people who aren't subscribed are British? Don't be British, make sure to subscribe. An upgrade from the L85 is the L85 Tactical. This gun fixes the issues of the long reload and even has a grenade launcher and laser. The only reason why this gun is an S tier is it's fairly hard to manage the recoil, so this gun will go into A tier. Now, it's no secret that I'm not a fan of LMGs and Stalker, and that's no different with the M249. Sure, the 100 round magazine may be appealing, but I personally think it's overkill. I would personally have a 30 round gun with great scopes and accuracy, and that is the main drawback of the LMG, the lack of accuracy. But this gun is still decent, so I'll put it into B tier. There seems to be a lot of fan favourites in the 5.56 calibre, and the Butcher is no different. 
The main initial appeal of this gun is the 60 round magazine, but like the M249, I don't think this is that important. Otherwise, this gun has a very fast fire rate, is controllable, and can take good sights. So I'm going to have to put this gun into S tier. Slightly worse, the Ruger. Magazine wise, this gun is the opposite of the Butcher as it only has a 20 round capacity. This is still usable, but definitely not ideal. On top of that, the fire rate is also slower. Therefore, I'm going to downgrade this gun to A tier. The last unique M4 is the Protector. This gun lies between the Ruger and Butcher, having a 40 round magazine and an in between fire rate. As it lies in the middle, I'll round this gun up to S tier. The default M4A1 is an all round good gun. It does have more recoil than the variants, but it still gets the great scope selection and even a grenade launcher. Therefore, I'll put into A tier. Onto the SIGs now, and first is the 550. This gun isn't too great. It has 30 rounds and an okay fire rate, however it suffers from a bad sight selection. Overall, this gun is serviceable, but not much more, so we'll go into B tier. Slightly better is the upgraded variant. This gun is like the previous, but it gets a grenade launcher and a 45 degree sight. Unfortunately, the sight selection still sucks, but I think the grenade launcher is good enough for it to be in A tier. The 550 Arrow, however, is barely an upgrade from the 550. It doesn't get the grenade launcher or the 45 degree sight. Instead, the fire rate is slightly higher. But this is barely a difference, and therefore this gun will stay in B tier. The SIG 552 is even less impressive and is essentially a SIG 550 with less accuracy. So this gun will go into C tier. Lastly is the XM4. This rifle has a quite weird selection of scopes, but can take the Spectre which is decent. Continuing the weirdness is the oddly specific 25 round capacity, but this is barely noticeable compared to the 30 rounder. So this gun will go into B tier. So that was my rating of all the 5.56 rifles in Stalker Gamma. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. Remember to stop past the live stream on Twitch or here on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.